I started Zilla back in 2006. Uh, before then, I'd, I'd been working as a musician. I always liked having custom gear on stage and kind of standing out a little bit. Um, I think you'll find a lot of the cabs from back then were things like snakeskin or giraffe fur or things with stripes and different shapes and sizes. I had a, a lot of people that noticed this and they'd be, they'd be asking me, I'd, I'd be doing things for friends, you know, pimping out their, uh, their Marshall stacks, that kind of stuff. Um, and then, yeah, in 2006, I thought maybe, maybe more people want this. You know, I'd have people coming up to me after shows asking about stuff and uh, I thought I'd give it a go. Zola wasn't just about sounding good, it was about sounding as good as you can. It was about taking a, a platform for the player to just enjoy it. For me as a musician, my best gigs were always ones when I wasn't worrying about stuff, I was just playing and having fun. Something that always worked for me was a cab that would allow me to build my own sound, something that was going to just be a, a blank canvas, a kind of a, a quality natural base to build my sound around. I try and recreate that in every camp for the customer. I try and listen to what they're saying, what they want, and the main goal would be to take that tone, that idea that's in their head, and to translate it into what is coming out of the speakers in the camp. We've been doing this for 13 years now and it's as important as ever to keep that attention to detail, to make sure every single aspect of the speaker cabinet is right. It's not just about putting the right speaker in the right cab, it's about cutting the tollex right, it's about using the right glues, it's about constantly trying to innovate and develop the speaker cabinet so we're not just standing still, we're always pushing these things forward, we're always trying to make them better without sacrificing the quality that we've always had. Mm -hmm.